Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. It is that time where I have started, and you might have too, to kind of transition um, away from fall and thinking about incorporating some warmer fabrics into your stash. Um, I say that while the highs this week are gonna be in the 80s <laughs> here in Charleston, but that doesn't keep my like internal clock from saying like it's almost winter time, like time to start thinking ahead and sewing things for the cooler temperatures. Um, so I have been gathering a few like winter type fabrics that I wanted to go over with you today to hopefully give you some inspiration and give you an idea of what I'll be sewing this winter. So um, the first one is this really interesting buffalo plaid it's like pre-quilted buffalo plaid. It has gray on one side, so I guess it's technically like a double, double, it's not gauze, it's not knit. I don't know, it's two layers, <laughs> so whatever that is. And like I said, it is pre-quilted. So gray on one side and this buffalo plaid on the other. And I got this with the intention of making a vest a little bit lumberjack. I get that. They had like a black and white one. This is from Joanne. They had a black and white one too, but for some reason, I don't know, the red just jumped out at me. It's like winter, holiday. I don't own a lot of red, so anytime I can incorporate it without it just being like red, um, I, I think I try to do that. It'll definitely be like something different in my wardrobe. Most of the wintry stuff I have is like gray, or black. Um, so this is black, but it also has red in it as well. And I can tell already it's going to be super warm, which is why I'm doing a vest and not like a tamarack jacket. I think the tamarack or any kind of um, jacket would just be way, way too warm here. But I think a vest would be super cute and I'll be able to put it over top of lots of different things, dress it up, you'll see, or dress it down. And um, I think it could be very uh, practical in my wardrobe when the temperatures drop like below 60 or so. Um, the next one I got also from Joanne, I have been eyeing this one for a while and it was finally on sale with an additional 20% off sale items too. And it is this really pretty navy and black and like gold sequin tweed. Um, it does have some ray on it. So it's also got a nice drape to it. And I am super torn as to what to make with this. Part of me says just make a cropped jacket because you would get the most wear out of that. And then another part of me says make that seam work jumper pattern. You know, the one with the super deep V and like the simple A-line silhouette because that would make a really, really cute dress up or ca not casual, but kind of, it could go to like a fancy place or it could just go to date night at like the chicken wing place down, maybe not the chicken wing place, but just like a regular like Applebee's. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm overdressing for Applebee's too, whatever. I'm just saying like <laughs> date night or like an event. <laughs> <laughs> would be the two places I could wear it. Um, so I just don't know. Do you go for like the one that you know that you'll wear often or do you go for the one that you know you'll only wear like once or twice? Probably the former, right? Even though the other one is like such a cute idea. What should I do? Let me know in the comments. Practical. It's like the cake and frosting thing that's going on with the sew frosting. So um closet case patterns and true bias have this challenge on instagram so frosting and basically the concept is that you have all this cake in your closet which is like you know all the stuff that you go to for every day where the practical stuff that's in your wardrobe you know the chambray top the jeans the knit dress you know all of that and then you have the frosting items which are these things that you only wear like once or twice a year they're special they're fabulous they make you feel wonderful um those things are the frosting so this is like the age-old question should i make the cake which is a crop jacket or should I make the frosting, which is the cute little jumper dress? 
let me know what you guys would do. If it's the time of year to sew frosting, right? If I'm going to wear this anywhere, it's going to be this time of year with the holidays and, you know, all of the different events that you go to, um, like dates and, you know, just feels like that time to be very festive. So let me know what you guys think I should do, cake or frosting. Okay, this next one I got when I was in Boston. Um, a couple of people recommended a fabric shop there, Sophistication. So I went by there. I grabbed a few other things, but none of them were for winter. This one is a relatively thin, um, well, I thought it was sweatshirt fleece, but now I think it's just, I don't know. It's not... French terry. I don't know what it is. It's just like a thicker knit. Um, but it looks like this super cute, but pink background, navy and white flowers. Um, again, I have no idea what I want to make with this, but this isn't a plans video. So I don't have to have made up my mind just yet. Right. Um, but I do love sewing, um, with this kind of like thicker sweatshirty type, um, material in the winter time because it's I think this one has a little bit of rayon in it too so it's like nice and soft and cozy and warm but not hot um and you know you can make so many different things from it I mean obviously I could make a sweatshirt or a top or I could make you know um like joggers or something like that so the fabrics like this always end up in my stash in the winter time so to be determined what I'll make with that, maybe I'll wait and see what Seamwork is coming up with um, for November, maybe even December. Um, all of the winter collections from the big four have been released. I did first impression videos on all of them, so be sure to go check those out. Um, nothing in there is jumping out at me except was it McCall's? I remember the picture had orange fabric and it was like a regular top and had a ruffle that went in the shape of a V. So that could be something really cute with this that would be very wearable and practical, but still warm. So yeah, I'll have to come up with some, some ideas for what to do with this guy, but he still smells really good from whenever I did laundry. That's always good. Holds on to that scent really well. Okay, I got this guy from Style Maker Fabrics. I feel like she's had this for a while. This might even have been a remnant. So I'm not sure if it's still available, but I just love the colors. I love that it's like cream and white with a little weave of black in there. This will inevitably become a cropped jacket. Like it just will. That's what this wants to be in my mind. Um... And I don't have any crop jackets that are in the cream family. I have, well, like a white denim jacket. I have a gray, like moto jacket. Um, and then everything else is black. I think, yeah. So I can't think of anything, which means if I can't recall it, then it should probably go be donated because I don't love it that much. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to make just a little warm crop jacket out of something like this. Maybe even like that fur jacket that I made um, last month. I've talked about it so much. If you haven't seen it yet, go check some recent videos. I'm sure I'm talking about it in there <laughs> somewhere. So maybe something like that for this. I don't know but it's warm. It's cozy. Um, it's very soft. I love this. You know, she has really, really great quality fabrics. Here's what the backing looks like. Um, so if you're looking for something and you want to make sure that it's good quality, um, I would, I would absolutely head there. If you can't get your hands on it, like at Joanne or Hobby Lobby or anything like that, you can almost guarantee that what you get from her is going to be really great quality and it's going to feel really good. Um, so uh, I will leave a link in the description box if this is still available, fingers crossed, for you guys that it is. Maybe some of you already got it. 
So those are four fabrics that I had picked out for this winter. I don't sew a ton of winter stuff because I just don't have a lot of places to wear it, but I will make, you know, a few things geared toward that season just so I have something new and fresh to add to my wardrobe and it doesn't feel like stale and like, oh, I've worn this a thousand times and boring. So um, I hope you guys like them. I want to know what are your plans um, for winter? What kind of fabrics do you have picked out? Out. Do you have something special, something like frosting, or do you have just a bunch of cake? Um, I will say I feel like it's mostly cake that I have with the potential for frosting. So, so we will see. Um, yeah, we'll have to see how those shape up and if they end up in my December plans video or not. Um, but I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you all very soon. Bye!